Hello and welcome to the Evolve Pipe Drive podcast. My name is Bruce Bignall, I'm the sales director here at Evolve and today it's my great pleasure to be joined by David Chevalier, the co-founder at Leadjet and he's going to walk us through the Leadjet platform and how it integrates with Pipe Drive. David, over to you. Yeah, uh, let me show you now how the integration uh, works together between Leadjet and Pipe Drive. So I would say Bruce, we just um, take uh, Marco, your colleague, as uh, an example and uh, yeah, once you onboard, because you will find our um, integration straight in the Pipedrive app marketplace, it's pretty easy. So it's just uh, three steps in the onboarding process. Uh, you will accept that we connect to Pipedrive and um, then you will see the Chrome extension already running. Mm -hmm. And um, so in this case, uh, we have now standard LinkedIn. It also works for Sense Navigator, which I'm going to show later on. But um, yeah, you will see a few purple buttons um, popping up everywhere in LinkedIn. So and this is cool. I, I can see two things, right? So you've the purple button on his profile. It looks yeah. like you've got a lead jet up in the top menu bar as well, mm -hmm. exactly. as well as the Chrome piece, right? And I'm sure you take me through everything, but I just want to. There are some things that you can see already that that you're overlaying onto LinkedIn. Yeah. So we are a super native integration, and we connect via API. So um, what you will see here is uh, we have access to your dashboard straight in the LinkedIn navigation bar. Um, here you have to add the CRM button. And when I uh, would see some CRM contacts here on the right side, so for instance, if you, Bruce, uh, are already in my Pipedrive CRM, which in this case you're not, but I'm going to show you later, you would be highlighted purple. So everywhere where you navigate on LinkedIn, when you see a purple highlights um, over the name, then you can get sure that this is a contact in your CRM. Cool. So, but yeah, let's start. Uh, the magic button is um, add as contact or add as a, a new deal. Mm -hmm. So let me show you now on the contact level. So it's one click and then uh, you will see that um, an embedded window, so that's a snapshot actually of your CRM, is now integrated in the LinkedIn uh, profile page. So we are also searching directly for the email and phone number. So yeah. let's see if we are successful. Uh, we leverage your different tools. So uh, you can connect up to 10 tools. We have an exclusive partnership with Drop Contact. It's a GDPR compliant tool and works um, yeah, for European and US, nice. both the same way, pretty good. Um, for us, um, versus the 10 tools, they have the best success rate. So that's why we partner with them. And as you see, we found his email and phone number. Yeah. So I hope you guys are not calling Marco now, but, um, yeah, so that's, well, it'll come uh, through to my, it'll come through to this office. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> no, but yeah, if you, you can also try, uh, I mean, we have a free trial and we give you credits. So you can recheck on your end then, but okay. I can do now. So are these, yeah, are these now labels that you can label? into exactly. your CRM. Yeah, these are your custom labels from Pipedrive. So we always go, um, um, we think with all the custom things you set up in your Pipedrive. So we will find also these custom things here in LinkedIn. So let's say, I don't know, we have a demo currently because then you get into a funnel and for us in the demo funnel in Pipedrive, I can also change straight from here um, and can um, change the contact owner. So for instance, I don't know, Mathieu is doing the demos with us. And uh, from here on, I can edit any field um, I want straight from LinkedIn. So I could also add more fields. Um, and these are all your pipe drive fields. So I don't know, let's say we want to add a job title. Mm -hmm. And then I can save it. And you will see um, that I just um, added the job title. So he's your content and marketing manager. And I can straight edit um, the fields from here. So campaign. Um, this is a hack I'm going to show you later. Um, we connected um, to um, custom campaigns. So I don't know, I can uh, say campaign one now because I'm using a demo account, but mm -hmm. you could connect it. And then it would kick off an email sequence campaign for instance, nice. because we have the email. Uh, can save it and it's uh, straight saved here. Um, we can check before we go to the CRM. I don't know, uh, we can leave a, a little note to Marco's profile. So um, Marco loves uh, chocolate. I hope it does. He <laughs> um, loves ice cream as well and, uh, coffee, okay. and coffee so, and wine. Perfect. perfect. So fact about him, um, it's directly saved in Pipedrive, so I don't need to click anywhere. It's also in a, in a Notion form. So uh, I don't know, you can um, have give head in text uh, or whatever you want. You can also uh, start with templates. So for instance, when I would open the notes, I can see all my uh, medic, medpick templates yeah, nice. um, and update it straight from here. So it's saved. Um, yeah, I can also push him a message. Hi, Marco. Um, 
currently on a podcast with Bruce. Um, push him this message. Oh, wait, my Zoom is here. Um, send him the message, and what I can do also is um, it's not already done. Now. I don't know, I closed it now. Um, that this message is synced to your CRM. So um, you will see now here, with one click, we actually um, have added a lot of facts about Marco um, to your Pipedrive CRM. So we created a new record, we have the phone number, the email, LinkedIn URL, job title, the campaign, we even added the company, Evolve in this case, um, and added some, some information to Evolve. Um, here you will find the notes, um, so fact about him that he loves chocolate, the medic notes, um, his profile picture, you see Mathieu is now the owner, and this is a two-way thing. So when I would um, change information here um, or put in a new activity, you will directly see it um, in LinkedIn as well. So you see here, the last activity was 20 seconds ago. You have a task you would see here, for instance, and this you can really customize as you want. Mm. Um, yeah. It's pretty um, interesting. So once it went through a demo, let's say we have now a new deal with Marco and um, we go, Marco's a big client. Um, so we can either link him to an existing deal if there's yeah. already a deal going on or we can choose a new deal pipeline. So now he's uh, synced as a big client. I don't know. Um, I would say he's qualified. Um, and, again, you're moving, and now you're moving him through your pipeline from within LinkedIn. Exactly, from within LinkedIn. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the big uh, benefit we bring is that we actually bring your CRM uh, to the tools where you work. So mm -hmm. everywhere where relationships happen, so you can really focus on the relationships and uh, we can cut all the CRM grunt work um, for you so that you yeah, can save time. Very cool. And you could also um, edit the fields, as I said, straight from here. You can customize again. Um, so you can show any deal field you want here. I don't know, you can give it an amount, for instance. Um, and as I wanted to show you also the messages, let's go to the message panel. You can do it from here or from your small message panel. You can also synchronize the messages. Um, so, yeah. And what's also important, I don't know, when you want to do an outreach with templates, we also give you even message templates. Um, yeah. You can edit straight from here. So let's see for Marco, go back to his profile and pipe drive. And what we can see here is the LinkedIn conversation got synced. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, also we created a new deal, which should be here. Exactly. Nice. So, yeah. so, so the, the value there hasn't gone across from LinkedIn yet. Ah, uh, yeah, because I okay. think I, 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 did, I didn't save it. So let me save it. That's cool. Oops. And there's one other piece I wanted to message there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that will, yeah. And here it's directly cool. there. I even need, don't need to refresh. Yeah, yeah, lovely. And then on the syncing of the messages, if you scroll down on on the pipe drive, so you've oh, yeah. synced okay. that. If you go, mm -hmm. uh, you save that as a custom activity, that looks like. So if you click onto the David um, LinkedIn combo uh, as the, cause obviously it's got a notice against it, but could you click onto that? Um, I hear yeah. you mean, yes. So yeah, you've actually sync. You've actually created a custom activity. So then, so yeah. uh, above the date where it's got a call meeting task, I guess. Yeah. So you've created a custom activity. So then, from a manager's point of view, you can then track the activity from PipeDrive's own reporting. You could track the activity of LinkedIn messages that have been sent or whatever. So no longer is it a, a dark sales channel. It's, you can then, I guess, report on it. I guess that's yeah. Yeah, and that's the, the great benefit versus uh, HubSpot or Salesforce because um, actually Piper is the only CRM from the big ones um, which allows us to save that as a custom mm. activity type. Um, and yeah, that's why we are working with PyDrift as our own CRM as well. So it's really yeah, no, it's, it's very cool. Um, yeah, so what else can I show? Of course, um, when you want to have more company information enriched, I mean, this is now very customized. So we yeah. also have seg segment integrated. So um, if Marco would really um, sign up, we will also see plan licenses, mm -hmm. etc. cetera. Um, but uh, maybe to show you our dashboard, you can add up to 25 additional fields um, from LinkedIn. So any information, country, education, um, headline, 
the languages, LinkedIn bio. So all the information that's basically available on a contact level on LinkedIn, um, you can add and map your fields here with PipeDrive. Hmm. So um, you just um, yeah, choose the right type, PipeDrive field in this case. And it also works for the company. So there are many more fields, um, which is quite interesting. For instance, it's the crunch base information. I was going to say, because LinkedIn doesn't have the funding. So that's pulling from somewhere else, right? Um, so no, LinkedIn recently was an update, show last funding amount and funding date, actually. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so this is coming via LinkedIn, but thanks to Crunchbase. Okay. Um, and we're, yeah. we're recording this in July 2022. So if someone's thinking I'm very out of date, it's uh, that's, that must be quite new, I think. I haven't seen yeah. that before. Yeah, yeah. So these are our, our main features, I would say. Um, you can also have the same now on steroids. So if you are working with the sales navigator, you build your lead lists or you have your saved searches. So maybe we go now into, into a lead list. Um, I can select all of these people. Only one is in my CRM. As you can see, this is the purple highlight I was speaking yeah. uh, about before. And I can click, click here directly and I see this David Fox um, is in Pipedrive and Romar, my co-founder, is the owner. Um, that goes hand in hand also with the company. So Euraseo is for Very nice. the company. Um, but let me add now all these 25 contacts. And you will see we are currently exporting and it just works in the background. So you can leave, mm -hmm. you can click again on another account list and you can click on the next page and export another 25. We could also do it with more profiles, but we um, don't want to overuse the LinkedIn API. Yeah. So we don't want to bring harm to LinkedIn and just take data and export it. Um, so that's why we're a bit different. We are bringing the CRM to LinkedIn. So that's why we increase time spent. Yeah. Um, on LinkedIn and um, yeah, by doing it um, just to be at 25 profiles, we are not a robot and click ourselves to yeah. the next page. And that's and that's quite interesting, right? Because for LinkedIn, the incentive is to keep the user on LinkedIn, right? So yeah, um, yeah, you, you built a very nice uh, UI there. So yeah, kudos yeah. to the team. And yeah, for the export, it um, works the same way. So you have a lot of different settings in your dashboard where you can actually say, Please enrich uh, when you add a new contact, always the email and phone number. So actually uh, for these 25 contacts, it's also searching for email and phone number. Um, again, we could make it faster, but uh, we don't want uh, because then we would again overuse the LinkedIn API. Um, so this works in the background. And, you... and and from a, if you can't find their email or phone number, mm -hmm. is there a, a method of saying um, you won't then populate that into your CRM? And you'll get a notification saying, hey, we couldn't find Jeremy's email address. Yeah. Yeah, that's also possible um, because I know some work with Salesloft or Outreach. Um, with Salesloft, we have some integration. Outreach is coming very soon. And um, you can enable email validation. Mm -hmm. So we are using some validation tools to really recheck again if this email is existent. Um, then what you also can do, you don't save uh, personal emails and you don't add the contact um, when you don't have the email. Nice. Um, yeah. So uh, this is all basically can be customized uh, from yeah. the dashboard. Cool. I think that's um, yeah the main use cases. So it's um, yeah saving time when you want to add new new prospects um, to, to your CRM. It's um, directly working with the CRM fields straight from LinkedIn. So when you do outreach and relationship work, you have everything there and can update. So you don't need to switch between the, the tabs. Um, then the enriching of the data, obviously. And uh, yeah, you have the, the deals, you have the synchronization of the messages. But Pipedrive is still, is again unique because um, what's really cool is that you um, are able to sync the conversations to a contact and to a deal level. So we would then see on a deal level all the um, people involved in the deal and all the messages synchronized um, to that deal. So I don't know when you, your partner Marco is um, talking with another one of the company and he's synchronizing the messages, you will all see it in a, in a timeline view um, on a deal basis. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. That, that, that's it's the first time I've seen anything quite like that. So that, that was really cool. Um, well, well, David, unless, unless there's anything else, I just want to say thank you for t t taking me through those. Um, yeah. those use cases uh, and we'll be sure to have we've we've got a 14 day free trial for you, for you guys to try out so we'll have that in the description below yeah. 
Um, yeah, and a lot of cool new features coming. For instance, you might be interested, what is this CRM context to update? So here on the right side, we actually give you signals when people change information on LinkedIn. Nice. Which is quite uh, cool for your sales because you are interested when people switch their profile, their um, companies or their uh, jobs. So you will see it here and we will then update it um, for you. So, so does that then no, push into pipe drive? If, uh, sorry, I didn't uh, get it. Does that it. then push into pipe drive and update that, um, yeah. that person? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in the first version, you click on the profile and then you just click on update. Um, yeah. So this is currently because I was locked in this HubSpot. Yeah. Um, and then here's a um, update button and then it's uh, updated in nice. your pipe drive CRM. And uh, yeah, the second version of it, uh, there will be a, a bit more automation. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that's uh, something cool. Yeah, I, I, I like V1. Get it out. from, from uh, Marco's going to laugh at this because for the last couple of months we've been saying, um, you know, get it out early and, you know, release it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it can't be shit. Um, yeah. So uh, th this is another good example of that. So it works, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's uh, certainly not shit. So, yeah, again, David, thank you for that. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, until next time, thank you very much.